Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. In this video, we're going to talk about the hardware configuration that we have on the HMI. This hardware configuration is uh, not like changing something inside the software. It's something about or similar to what we have on the system configuration on Visual Designer. We just click in the different sides on the HMI, we can access the uh, in a system menu. This is similar to that, okay, but we have, we call this as a hardware configuration. So let's go to the software so we can go deeper on this one. So if we, for example, go to the help on this uh, software, we can access to this, to the hardware configuration explanation that basically we need to touch one of the top corners and then the opposite in order to visualize this uh, hardware configuration. And here you can find more information in the help, okay, of what you can do. But let's go deeper into the software so we can understand a little bit more. So, by default, okay, let me just create a new application so I can show you where is it. <laughs> okay, so if we go to the target, if we go to properties in the right part function options preferences you have this by default okay display hardware configuration so if we touch if we go touch this okay if we touch one of the corners and the opposite okay we should be able to open the hardware configuration so it should be something like this let me just show you the screen this is one of the HMIs, nothing new, okay? So, for example, if we touch the first one and the other one, okay, quickly, you should be able to see this view of the hardware configuration. I don't know if you can see it clear, let me just make some modifications over here so I can increase this. Okay, perfect. So, here, you can see that the first field is the date and time. You should be able to change this, okay? This is a good way. This is similar to the system configuration that we have on BGL. You can have the possibility to enable the buzzer, okay? Play with the brightness, and then if you scroll down a little bit, you have the configuration of the Ethernet port. In this case, you have two Ethernet ports. If you have defined the driver, you should be able to see something here. In my case, I haven't defined anything over here. You also have the scan rates. If you have a USB already connected, you have the possibility to put it. Let me just disable the buzzer. There we go. Here you have the information of the product, okay, of the software, the runtime. You have the possibility also to make the reboot, the shutdown, download. This is important, the system log. When you have a problem with the HMI of any problem in the communication, you can go here into the system log. Then here, checking the system errors, okay? Uh, back, there we go. Down, da, da, da. see important here. To upload, also have the possibility to download. Okay, this is important. I believe I already made some explanation of this one about the Secure Connect to remote access to the HMI and then to the devices that you have connected below. Then the IPC for more, for more security and then the web viewer that allows you to replicate the HMI into a um, laptop or a smartphone. So this is how you can access into the hardware configuration of the equipment. Okay, by default you have to press one of the corners, okay, and then the other one, like this. Okay, and if you don't want to do like that, okay, you should just go back here okay you can disable this part okay and one thing that you can do is to if you go to uh, to the screen that you have okay let me just minimize this okay when you are in the screen you can create your own screen to visualize this so you can go to the tool chest and in the tool chest you can have this one hardware configuration so you can use this one to visualize the same information. And something important here is that you will need to resize this. Okay, so you can see all the information that you have. 
So I made something like this in another project, which is the project that is installed right now in that HMI. So for example, I have this screen, okay, I'm using two contents, one for the top and another for the bottom. And here in the top content, okay, in the main here, I call this uh, button to call this screen. Okay, and this screen, okay, it shows the hardware configuration. So if we go here in the main, if I click this one, you can see that the operation is to change the ID to the number two, and the number two, okay, is this one. Okay, so if we go back now to the application that I have installed in here, if we, have, if we go to system, you should be able to see the configuration. The configuration is the same, okay? But I just resize to the view that I want, okay? To the size that I want. Okay, this is it. So this is simple and, and I advise you to use it, leave it in the project, okay? So you can get access to the configuration. If you want, you can use security. But we'll cover that later. So. This is it for the hardware configuration of the HMI that you can use inside the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.